Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Hi, welcome to the first week of preparation. We didn't come here to be specialists. It's not that we're seeking what you're calling your purpose is. Everybody's got the same calling. Everybody's got the same purpose. Um, even the idea of spiritual gifts in the Bible uh, don't mean that you get one and you then are exempted from all the others. Spiritual gift means that you have been given an extra charism or grace to be able to teach or train others to do or model the same thing. Because in the New Testament, the way that people learn is by watching the exemplary People. So there are some people who have a spiritual gift of preaching. You may not, but that doesn't mean that you're not called to preach, right? You still have in your sphere of influence to the people that you are their best contact to, to Christ. You're not supposed to bring them to me to preach at them. That's your job to preach. So you have to be ready to, as we say, preach, pray, or die at a moment's notice. That's your job. So you can't say, well, I'm not good at singing. So when it comes time for the congregational singing, I'm not going to sing because I don't have a gift of music. No, there are some people who have a spiritual gift. Uh, they have great voices, and they can help lead and guide the rest of us. But their job is to lead and guide the rest of us, not to replace the rest of us. So being a specialist is not what God calls you to be. Uh, one of the analogies I like to use because people like to talk about 1 Corinthians where Paul says, yeah, but Paul says there's different parts of the body. The eye is not a foot and the hand is not a leg. And I say, yes, verily, that is true. That is good insight. But you know something that's amazing that we understand now about the body from cloning is, is that if I take a cell from my ear and I clone the cell from my ear, I do not produce a giant six foot tall ear. I produce a whole new version of me. Every cell in the body contains the DNA that is uh, sufficient to reproduce the entire form. And that's remarkable. And there's a lesson for us then in how we think about being a specialist, which means that Yes, we sometimes do specialize in the church. You know, I, I, usually it's Pastor Tim or me up here preaching. Um, and so we specialize, but we specialize on top of having a general understanding. You would never go to a doctor, for example, who's, who said, I want to be a doctor. They, I, I want to I be an obstetrician. I'm going to go to obstetrician school and learn how to deliver babies. You'd say, no, first you should go pre-med and study biology, and then you should go on and learn the basics of all medical care, and then you go on to study uh, how to deliver babies. So the same thing's true with you in the Christian life. You should never specialize and say, oh, well, my job, I'm really good at hospitality. I'm going to stay in the kitchen. You stay in the kitchen and lead other people after you've learned the things that you need to do in the other spiritual gifts in life. You need to be able to replicate a church entirely on your own. You need to make it so that in your sphere of influence, you are everything that's necessary uh, to be used by the Holy Spirit to create a church. That's what God is doing with each individual Christian. Is he's putting a Christian somewhere, and that Christian should be able to replicate a whole church from their experience. That doesn't happen much in church today, but that's not because it's not supposed to. It's because we're not serious about putting in the time necessary to learn and to commit our lives to Christ to see the kind of growth that can only happen when we begin to memorize the Word of God, to begin to, to understand and live out the doctrines of the faith. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. For more information on Dot W Church, visit dotheword.org. Hear the word, do the word, Dot W.